Today we have a double review, Chattanooga Whiskey, double the Chatta, double the Nuga. Yeah, I just said that. <laughs> the new 2022 Spring Bottled and Bond Vintage Series and their Founders 10th Anniversary Blend. Let's try them both on the Master Drum. What's up, folks? Welcome to the Mash and Drum. I am Jason C. Back in the spring of 2012, Chattanooga Whiskey started blending and bottling their 1816, which was sourced by MGP and would eventually be replaced by their signature Barrel 91 recipe. Now, the 10-year Founders Reserve is a tribute to the evolution of the brand being a blend of MGP and two unique Chattanooga mash bills. Now, the newest entry into the Bottle and Bond Vintage Series is a blend of experimental mash bills that make up their bonded whiskey in the fall and spring seasons. Take a closer look. Alright guys, so first we're going to try the Founders Blend. Now the Founders Blend uh, is a blend of three unique whiskeys. Now it's comprised of 51% of three-year Chattanooga B002 mash bill, 9% of the four-year Chattanooga SB091 mash bill, and 40% of three to four-year 1816 MGP whiskey, which is aged in the unique 650 gallon 1816 barrel where they blended and aged different casts together to use just for this release. All right, so what's in those mash bills? Well, according to the press release, uh, that B002 mash bill is comprised of yellow corn, hardwood, smoked malted barley, uh, caramel malted barley, and honey malted barley. Then you have the SB091, which is yellow corn, malted rye, caramel malted barley, and honey malted barley. And then of course, uh, the MGP mash bill is yellow corn, unmalted rye, and pale malted barley. Uh, the other stats you care about, it's 100 proof, it's non-chill filtered, and in a world of high price, limited, rare this, rare that, $250, $300, this, uh, nice little anniversary blend, 50 bucks. All right, let's go to the nose on this one, see what we get, guys. I get a lot of cinnamon and spice on this one. This is a baking spice dream right here on the nose, and that's pretty typical, I think, from, uh, from some MGP dislet being kind of mixed in there. I also get like uh, like cinnamon graham cracker on this. I think I've called out Teddy Grahams before. It's like little Teddy Graham cookies. <laughs> Maybe slight hint of chocolate here, guys. And I also think there's almost like a smoked butterscotch note, very slightly that you're getting on the back end of this one as well. And that's one of my favorite notes. Not so much the smoked butterscotch, but just butterscotch in general. It's my favorite note to get in, uh, in bourbon. So let's try it. Man, on the palate of this, I get cream soda, orange, Again, those baking spices are punching through. Almost like an allspice cinnamon. I'm still getting that graham cracker on the nose. A little bit of that, again, more of that orange. And then the back end is where I'm getting kind of like the really nice, um, like that smoke, like that little bit of like barrel char and some of the smoke from that smoked, uh, that smoked malt. Some more smoke comes to the forefront especially as you keep sipping this. This might be actually like a killer cigar whiskey. This is a great uh, bourbon or whiskey to have with a cigar. It's pretty damn delicious. Uh, again, I just I just like how they kind of took some of their older, you know, what they used for their original 1816 uh, batches, which was just sourced MGP before their their Chattanooga high malt, their Tennessee high malt was, uh, was up to snuff. And, you know, I think at first some people were like, you know, you're saying it's made in Chattanooga, but it's MGP. When are we going to see the Chattanooga stuff? Well, what Chattanooga did, I think they gave him a little bit of time. And then as we now, it's still, it's a very unique recipe. I think what Chattanooga is doing, the Tennessee high malt, I still don't think it's for everybody, man. But for the folks that try it generally really, really enjoy it. Yeah. I got to try this with a cigar. 
But on the palate, it's sweeter than the nose would indicate. On the nose, I do get a lot of that smoke. I still get the cinnamon graham cracker and the baking spice. But on the palate, it starts off a lot sweeter. I think you get a lot of the honey. You get a lot of that, that, that profile that makes the Tennessee high malt what it is. It's really nice uh, honey, a little bit of the cherry. And then on the very, very back end, you get all the spice and you get all like the, um, the, the, the punch of like cinnamon and black pepper too. It's just a beautifully well-balanced bourbon. I, I think they did a really nice uh, job with this Founders Reserve. Now this is a little bit more limited uh, than the next bottle we're about to review, which is their Bottled and Bond. All right, next up is the newest entry in the Bottled in Bond Vintage Series. This is the 2022 Spring 2018 Vintage, which includes four mash bills. Now I'll read them quickly here. Uh, mash bill, uh, it's a lot of numbers and codes. Uh, R18016, which is their toasted coconut and red fruit mash bill. Uh, the SB055, which is barrel 55, which is their chocolate and brown sugar mash bill. The SB091, which is their barrel 91, which is caramel, honey, and citrus. And their B005 batch, which is butterscotch and pastry. So combined, all those four mash bills get blended together to make this bottle and bond. Again, you're looking at 100 proof for this one. It is bottled and bond. Price for this one, a little bit more, about 53 bucks. And this one should be a lot more widely available where Chattanooga is available near you. All right, here we go. Wow, completely different experience than that Founders Edition we just tried. Now, one of the mash bills said it had flavors of uh, coconut, red fruit, then you have toasted, uh, you have like some honey, some spice, some citrus. I'm really getting ripe red apple, like red apple peel. Not Granny Smith, this is more of like a red delicious apple. We definitely get the caramel. The honey is still there, which is kind of, that like honey malt is, is kind of the trademark of Chattanooga for me that I always get. Definitely see kind of like a strawberry thing going on on this. It's very springy so far on the nose. I don't know if I get the coconut as much as I'm getting like the sweetness, but it's kind of balanced out with like some really nice brown sugars, a little bit of chocolate too. All right, let's give it a go. This is a lot maltier on the palate than the Founders was. That Tennessee high malt is coming through in a strong way. And, but that's, you know, that's Chattanooga's, that's their thing. And if, if you're used to that, I like it. So this one is coming through way more chocolatey, a little bit more caramel. Then there's like this dark red fruit note right in between. I think up front you get the malt, you get the honey, the nice, um, that richer chocolate caramel note. But then man, when that hits, when, when that hits uh, the mid palate, it is just citrus and dark red fruit. And I'm trying to think what fruit that is. It's almost coming off like a, like a strawberry or even, even like a raisin. There's a, there's a darkness to it. That's very, it kind of hits you very quick, but then it's, then it gets into like the spice again. So far I'm digging this one. I don't know if it's balanced or it's just like tails of a different whiskey. It's got a dark side and light side. It's like a Star Wars bottle. Like the front of the palette is all Vader. It's all dark. It's, it's, uh, it's chocolate and caramel and almost like a coffee on the front. Then it gets to mid palette and then all of a sudden whoosh, the, 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 the lightsaber comes out and then all of a sudden, you know, Darth Vader's cut down by Obi-Wan and then all of a sudden it's, it's friggin' the light side takes over. It's, uh, it's citrus and it's like juicy, like strawberry. They got a little too Star Warsy there. I just, that guy didn't do my Jar Jar. Lisa thinks that's you, the Star Wars, so delicious. Yeah, that was weird. Okay, no more Jar Jar for you. <laughs> All right, another sip for Jar Jar. I, I can't wait to see if this opens up and becomes a little bit more fruity as it goes on because up front like i said chocolate caramel some coffee get a little bit like a like a fresh coffee bean maybe a slight hint of that coconut i don't get a lot of it but and then it hits then the lightsaber comes out citrus again i think it's like a juicy strawberry it's it's just i'm getting this bright dark fruit note and then it just continues on with like honey and spice just a, a another beautifully balanced and Really cool whiskey from Chattanooga. So between the two, you have the Founders and then you have the, uh, the Bottle and Bond. This one, 
definitely more the uh, the founders definitely has a little bit more of an MGP influence with that cinnamon graham cracker note uh, and you also I think you get a little bit more of that smoke and barrel char influence on that one so really nice balance of sweet citrus and some smoke um, and then on the this bottle and bond like I said light side dark side chocolate caramel coffee finishes out with some bright citrus and some uh, dark fruit really great whiskeys uh, two I think completely different flavor profiles really just depends on what you like but either way no matter what you're getting here at least you don't have to break the bank to get these love what Chattanooga is doing so uh, if you find these guys highly recommend them if you like those flavor profiles all right guys well thanks for watching the master drum whiskey room as we try two new expressions from chattanooga uh whiskey company hope you enjoyed it if you did hit the subscribe button below please hit the like button if you haven't yet follow me on instagram follow me on twitter let me know if any of you guys have had these yet uh this one should start be rolling out uh pretty soon to most markets while the chattanooga's founders uh, i think is a little bit more limited but uh, i'm starting to see some folks that are finding these around in their area well also where chattanooga is sold so Two great expressions, hope you enjoyed it. And as I always say, it's not about the whiskey, it's the people you share it with. So cheers, I'll see you next time right here on The Master and Drum. Take care, everybody.